we consider that because I think his intentions are in the best for his fellow First Nations. It does fail to reference First Nation governments and that will derogate from that overriding constitutional obligation. The bill does propose, as a number of the members have pointed out and the member who tabled the bill has pointed out, proposes a number of measures to rescind or amend uh, provisions in the Indian Act. For example, uh, specific provisions to do with residential schools, wills and estates, the duty to attend school, uh, the process for, for enacting banned bylaws, and the sale of produce. Few would oppose uh, the right of Canadian First Nations to make these kinds of decisions for their own peoples. The problem, Mr. Speaker, is not with the intention of passing over those powers. The problem is the way in which this member has gone about this. Another uh, measure, Mr. Speaker, that I find uh, problems with is that the member, um, well, first of all, he does require, and this is a good provision, um, if the rest of the bill could stand and if it had been consulted on in advance, would require the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs to report uh, annually to the Aboriginal Affairs Committee on actions taken to uh,